Now to an ongoing challenge for the city of Indianapolis. Tonight, leaders are trying to figure out how to curb youth violence after seven kids were shot downtown over the weekend. Today, our Marion County reporter Lauren Costick spoke with two state leaders wanting to learn what they think needs to happen now. At a community breakfast, one thing was top of mind. The downtown shooting that left seven young people hurt over the weekend. As police investigate, state leaders representing Indy are looking for solutions. This is a mass murdering, a mass shooting, and this has to be addressed. State Representative Robin Shackelford believes part of the problem is easy access to guns. We should not have teens feeling like that they need to carry a weapon to protect themselves, and it should not be so easily accessed that they can get these weapons. First, we have to re repeal permitless carry. As for State Senator Greg Taylor, he believes the problem isn't just guns, but also support from the state to pass certain laws. A vibrant Indiana, Indianapolis, a safe Indianapolis, is a safe state of Indiana. Police have yet to release a motive for the shooting or make any arrests. Next at 6, we take a deeper look at youth violence, specifically here in Indianapolis. I'll show you some of the concerning numbers coming out of a new report. For now, in Indianapolis, Lauren Costick, 13 News. Lauren, thank you. Police tonight tell 13 News the gunfire on Saturday night was not random. No, they say it stemmed from an issue between two groups of people. We did talk to the Marion County prosecutor who tells us now that a curfew isn't off the table.